on this week's episode of the Fab Lab, ice cream, and a little bit about black inventor and scientist in history, Alfred Crowley. Now is a super good time to subscribe and click the bell. are in the Fab Lab. I'm here with my Fab Lab professor, Olivia, and we are doing one of my favorite projects in the whole wide world that is inspired by one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, Mr. Alfred Crowley. He invented the ice cream scoop. That is right. In the mid 1800s, when ice cream just started kind of hitting the scene, he was working at a hotel and noticed that some of his friends in the kitchen were having a hard time getting that delicious cream into bowls without sticking to the spoon and looking crazy once it got there. Now, Alfred was already super interested in creating things and figuring out the way they worked from his time spent as a youngster and teen, learning and working with his father in Virginia, where he was a carpenter. So when Alfred saw this problem, he got straight to work drawing up plans for his invention that he would call the ice cream mold and disher. Now, no one had ever thought of this idea before, so in February of 1897, Crowley registered his design with the U.S. Patent Office, making him among the first African Americans in United States history to hold a patent, and the first in Pittsburgh to do so. Vocabulary. A patent is a document that helps inventors have control over their invention. It prevents other people from copying or selling the design without permission. So while lots of people can lay claim to the invention of ice cream itself, there's only one ice cream scooper and one ice cream scooper inventor, and that is Alfred Crowley. To learn more about other black inventors and scientists in history, make sure you sign up for my newsletter below and I will send you my very own Black Inventors and Scientists in History ebook. In the Butter episode of the Fab Lab Season 2, we learned all about how milk and cream are an emulsion made up of three main components, fat, protein, and water. We also learned that when we introduce the very scientific process of agitation to separate them by breaking globule membranes containing the fat, we create butter. Today's project will also use agitation and a little extra help from the chemical relationship between salt and ice to bring out the very best in our milky solution. Vocabulary. Now remember, a solution is what you call a liquid, like water or oil, when it has something else, like sugar or salt, melted or dissolved inside. There are lots of different kinds of solutions that you can make, and you can learn more about them in the Fab Lab Tea Party episode, which I'll link here. For this project, you're going to need just a few simple things, and I'm going to consult my Fab Lab bag. For this project, you're going to need salt, sugar, half and half, milk and heavy whipping cream if you're gonna do an experiment, vanilla extract, ice, small sealable bags, large sealable bags, oven mitts, small towels, and even some gloves for this one because it does get a little bit messy. And if you want, a timer or a clock. You'll start by adding ice and salt to your big freezer bag. Next, add cream, sugar, and vanilla to your smaller freezer bag. Now close it up super tight and pay close attention to this one because it's important. You're going to want to close up this bag super tight while squeezing out as much air as possible and even double this bag up just to be safe because you're going to dunk it into the big freezer bag that has the salt and ice in it. Now pop your smaller bag inside of your larger freezer bag and try to get it in the middle of the ice. Now, you're just going to agitate the crap out of it. Now, while you're doing this, do your best to try and keep the small plastic baggie in the center of the ice and really put some muscle into it. You're gonna do this for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending upon what you're using to make your creamy concoction. 
Now, when you're done agitating, you're going to take your cream-filled bag out of the salty ice bag and rinse or dunk it in cold water just to get as much of the salt off as you can. Now, open up the bag, whip out a spoon, and taste your experiment. Salt causes ice to melt. The why of that has to do with ions and volume and density and a really intense equation. So I'll save that for later. But what I will tell you is that the normal freezing point of water is usually 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. But when salt and ice mix, the freezing point of the ice or water is lowered. By how much depends on the amount of salt that's used. The more salt, the lower the temperature can get before the salt water solution created freezes. Now, to try and illustrate this for you, imagine you have 100 water particles and we introduce, say, 10 salt particles dissolved inside. This would bring the water's freezing point to 20 degrees when it's normally 32. Now, if we add 10 more salt particles, the water would freeze at two degrees Fahrenheit or negative 17 degrees Celsius. You get it? <laughs> okay. So in this week's project, when the salt is added to the ice baggies, some of the ice melts because its freezing point has been lowered. But the cream inside of the smaller baggies also contains water particles whose freezing point has not changed and still wants to freeze at 32 degrees. By lowering the temperature of the ice surrounding the cream, we've created an environment for the cream mixture to crystallize at the temperature of below 32 degrees. The agitation process, the shaking and the rubbing, moves the cream around just enough to freeze evenly, making it smooth thanks to the fat molecules. Agitation also helps to aerate or add air to the mixture so it fluffs up this sweet treat instead of just turning into a block of ice if it had just been sitting still while freezing. And now it's time for the Fab Lab wrap up so I know that you are paying attention to me. Question number one, at what temperature does water freeze? Question number two, what are the three main components of milk and cream? Question number three, what is that delicious combination called? Question number four, what job did Alfred Crowley have when he made his invention? Cream soup is good. <laughs> it is super good. Oh, hey guys, sorry. <laughs> so this project is super delicious, a lot of fun. It's super messy, but totally, totally worth it. If you do this project, please make sure that you tweet me or Instagram me the results and what you find. Let me know if you use milk or heavy cream or um, or uh, half and half like I did. I would love to see what you turn up and what flavors you can come up with. If you like this project, you're going to love my Black Inventors and Scientists in History printable that you can get for free if you sign up for my Fab Lab newsletter below. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I'm Crazy at Lindsay, and we made ice cream today. Thanks, Alvin Crowley.